when you are praying, nothing is happening. It's because there is a force which called Pharaoh. Pharaoh is not a small boy. Pharaoh is a dragon. He waged a war in heaven. He fought with Michael. That same spirit is what entered Pharaoh. Now listen now. Moses is trying to fight a man who is a dragon in the spirit. Well, this Moses was a physical man. It will never happen. But after he met the burning bush, the same Moses is it transfigurated. It's no longer a Moses that Pharaoh knew. That Pharaoh took care of because Moses grew in Pharaoh's house. Now God told Moses, he said, I'm going to make you a God to Pharaoh. Because you know what is happening. You have to grow in the spirit. You have to get to a place where your rank is higher than what is fighting you. If what is fighting you in the spiritual realm, wait, wait, 60 kg, huh? or I mean maybe 79 or 90, you in the spiritual realm, you are waiting maybe 40 something, you will never win it. What is fighting you, if in the spiritual realm, it's a giant, it's a principality, you, your rank in the spirit, is a baby, you still crawling, you still drinking milk, you will never, you will never win it. That's why some of you are struggling with addiction. You can't leave it. Prophet, I cannot stop drinking. I cannot stop smoking. You know why? The demon of smoking is higher than your spirit. So for you to win that demon, you have to grow spiritually. That's why we fast and we pray. Anytime you are fasting, you are growing your spirit. Anytime you are fasting, you are making your spirit to become a giant. So that what killed your mother, what divorced your mother, what caused your mother to divorce, when it comes to you, to your marriage, it will never. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because you have grown your spirit to the level where you are not able to fight. God gives Moses a road. Why God is giving him a road? Because you will go and meet Pharaoh. Pharaoh is a god. Pharaoh can perform any miracle. The road stands for authority. God give him authority. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Behold, I've given you power to tread upon serpents. That's why Moses took a road. He tread down the tunnel to a serpent. Because you, Moses' is serpent is the serpent that is able. Which means in the spiritual realm, that serpent can swallow other serpents. The Bible says, Daniel was found 10 times wiser than the magician in Babylon. Daniel. So that is the realm in the spirit. What is fighting you? If the poverty in your family started before even your father was born, which means already in the realms of the spirit, he has grown some root. He's not able to uproot. You are just receiving Jesus Christ for two years, three years. You think you bring that thing, it will never happen. So what you have to do, you have, you have to do what? You need one thing, an encounter. An encounter. You need power. Many want to save their family, but they are powerless. Many want to say, you, really in your heart, you want to take your family out of that thing. But you don't know. It's not a physical something. It's not fighting with your uncle physically. It's not fighting with your auntie physically. The battle is in the spirit. If a snake is fighting with an eagle, an eagle doesn't fight a snake on the ground. Because the ground, an eagle is not used on the ground. An eagle stays in the mountain. It stays far. So the eagle will catch the snake. It will pull the snake from water or from wherever. Then it will fly with the snake. He took the snake higher and is going to fight the snake in the air. Because that is the only realm where an eagle is comfortable to fight. Because he knows if you have to fight the eagle in water or on the ground, I mean the serpent in water or on the ground, the eagle will lose the battle. That's why some of you don't know. You are fighting witches, but you are empty. You have to take witches with the word of God. You go to a place where you begin to lock yourself in fasting and prayer. God, whoever is a strong man in this family, as I put food aside, as I put water aside, as I, I switch off my phone, I'm not leaving this house unless that person must die. I'm not leaving this house unless the judgment of God 
must stand. I, 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 are you getting what I'm saying? So some of you, you could have changed that situation long time. I'm sick and dead of hearing, prophet, I tried this business, they've robbed me. Prophet, I tried to submit here, they didn't respond to me. You know why? Because demons who are fighting you, they are higher than you. That's what Apostle Paul said, against the rulers of darkness. So in the spiritual realm, we have got what we call classes of demons. We have got the rulers of darkness. We have got principalities. We have got what we call power. And we have got what we call wickedness in the heavenly realm. So wicked spirits, they don't possess men. Because if they possess you, you are dead. They are spirits who are higher than Satan himself, which they are bound into chains because of the danger. God has to keep them into chains. Because I'm, I'm telling you, Lucifer is not dangerous as you think. They are spirits, they are principality, which are higher. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you getting what I'm saying? So the witches and wizards, the forces which the church we are fighting, is principalities, their powers, and the rulers of darkness, but not wicked spirits. Wicked spirits, they cannot possess a human being. If they possess you, become mad. You become mad. It's only principality rulers of darkness because rulers of darkness they give command to other spirits. Principalities also are not powerful. Principalities are just demons who control an area. Like for instance, there are demons who control Sunnyside. That's why you see people who stay in Sunnyside, they've got the way they behave. Yeah. When you leave Sunnyside, you go to a, that's good. Every place, every area, there are demons, there are principalities which control that area. You are coming from Cape Town, man of God. You are coming from Cape Town. Do you know, people who stay in Cape Town, they have got to say the way they see things. Their mentality. People who stay in Jubek. Me, I cannot stay in Jubek. I'm, I'm afraid. <laughs> Especially this place. I, I, what do you call it? Yofi. Yofi. I cannot stay there. No, 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 no. I can't. I went there in my lifetime, maybe two times. Maybe once or time. Maybe one or two times. I'm telling you. And every time I'm desperate, I'm scared. I'm telling people, when are we leaving? Because I'm like, I can't get... I, I don't like the, the, the atmosphere. You can see that there is a principality which controls these things here. Sunny side, there is a principality. There are even some schools when you put your child, your child begins to misbehave. You begin to copy. You know what? That is the principality of that area. Am I talking to someone? You want to deliver your family, but you want to do it carnally. It will never work. Moses thought it was a carnal. You have to kill an Egyptian and hide it. It was not a physical battle. It was a spiritual battle. Because you are fighting a dragon in the sea. You are fighting Pharaoh who is, who, is, who is a god. So God told Moses. God told Moses something which is unusual. God doesn't tell it to people. God doesn't tell that one to people. He said, I'm, I'm going to make you a god. I'm going to make you a god. Because this battle is in the realm of God. Pharaoh is a god. For you to confront Pharaoh, you must become a god. If you are a prophet, it will never work. That's why he said, Aaron will be your prophet. Aaron is going to be your prophet. But you, Moses is not a prophet. Moses is more than a prophet. For you to enter into tabernacle, a priest have to fast and pray to go to the Holy of Holies. Have you ever seen Moses fasting and pray to go in the Holy of Holies? Never. He enters anytime you want. Principles principles and laws are not for God are for prophets, are for people are for human beings, but when you go to the realm of a God you begin to control everything what kills human beings cannot kill you that's why David entered in the sanctuary he took the holy communion, he took the bread the bread shoe of the priest, he ate it nothing happened to him according to the law you cannot eat that bread unless you are a priest David was not a priest he was a fighter later he became a king you know why? Because he was operating in the realm of a God. You can, nothing can control you. Laws cannot control you. Am I saying something here? Woman of God, something. I'm going to call my God tonight. There is a power that is going to come upon you. There is a burning bush. Listen, Moses had to encounter, have an encounter with the burning bush for his life to be transformed. You don't need a burning bush. Yourself, you're going to become a burning bush. I said something, but you miss it. I said something, but you miss it. I said something, but you miss it. Moses needed an encounter to, with the burning bush for, for his life to be transformed. But you, Hebrews chapter 1 verse 7, he maketh his angel the wind, but his servant a flame 
of fire. So Ayakota, Moses now become a flame. I mean, you, you don't need a burning bush. You yourself, you are becoming a burning bush. Because the Lord is going to make you a flame of fire. Are you getting what I'm saying? You are going to become fire. Anywhere you will step, anywhere you will go. When you just walk like this, your fire begins. I walked to a house of a Sangoma, a Sangoma park and stuff and leave. Another one is that they say, she doesn't like me. He says, she's a Sangoma. Now they told him, I say, I don't like her too. I said, tell her I don't like her. Darkness and light cannot like each other. When darkness is in this place, what can chase darkness from a place is light. Anytime you, there is darkness in your house, what you do? Switch on the light. The moment you switch on the light, darkness disappeared. That's why God said, let there be light. Let there be light. It was a command. God was telling darkness to release light. Let there be light. Are you getting what I'm saying? So Moses wanted to deliver people of Israel, but he thought it was physical. That is what is killing some of you. Prophet, I get this job. One month, they suck me. I got another one. one month. When you see something repeating itself twice in your life, just know there is a spirit behind it. You married the first wife, you died the same way. The second wife, you're still walking. When something happened to you twice, just know. You came to this relationship, disappointed. You go to another one, disappointed. You say, ah, men in South Africa, they are not serious prophet. Ah, huh? my prophet, me, I've decided that I, I, I won't date anyone. Now date yourself, then. date yourself. You are failing to understand that there is a force, there is a power behind everything. Behind every disappointment, there is a power. Behind every blessing, there is a power. Behind every sickness, there is a power. Behind every behavior, there is a power. Why do we behave? Why, why do we behave the way we behave? It's because of something. Someone said, hey, prophet, you laugh every time. You are lovely. Even if someone did you wrong, you don't respond. You just laugh. You laugh everywhere. I said, you don't understand. There is a power that is behind me. The Holy Spirit cannot make me to be angry with someone. And I don't hold crutches because of the power. You, 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 have got, you are short temper. You know what? It's a demon. You are possessed. That power also is what is doing that. You need, tonight we are going to cry. God, give me the anointing to deliver my family. God must baptize you with the anointing. God, I want to deliver my family, but I know that I cannot do it carnally. I know that I cannot do it with strength, with power, forcing things. No, I can only do it if you can empower me. Jesus walked with, listen, even Peter. Peter wanted to defend Jesus. When they come to arrest Jesus, he took the naive. He cut off someone's his ear. He thought it was a physical battle. Jesus, oh, Peter, you are failing. It's not physically. Jesus took the ear, he put it back. But he said, go to Jerusalem, wait. I'm going to empower you with something. When he said, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost will come upon you. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. He said, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost will come upon you. Now you can defend me. He said, you shall be my witness in all the Jerusalem, in all the Judea. Peter wanted to do it before being empowered. He wanted to do it before the empowerment. That's why some of you, you are struggling. Why me, I don't struggle to pray? Why? Anytime I wake up in the night, if I check, the, what, what is the time? Midnight or is one in the morning. I begin to pray. So it's you try to wake up. When I say, when he just say, what time is it? Say, when you winter. Because you are not empowered. Something must come upon you. No, you, you, you might laugh, but I'm telling you, there are people who they lie. Anything they say, it they lie. Anytime you want to say the truth, it's lies which is coming. No, you say, what is wrong with you? Prophet, hey, I don't know. Anytime I want to speak the truth, it's only lies which come in my mouth. Because there is a power which is controlling you. There is a power which is, I'm telling you, behind every behavior, there is a power. When you are manipulated by witchcraft, you will even cause some acts. Even some thoughts. Do you know some thoughts are from the pit of hell? You just begin, imagine you are with your husband like this, you begin to develop negative thoughts. Oh no, I'm seeing like you are cheating me. Ah, sister, from where? No, that's what we be wondering. You say, from where? You say, no, I, I've got this feeling. That's it, the devil is whispering. It's a whisper. 
Some of you don't know. It's a whisper. It's a whisper. Behind every behavior, there is a spirit. Behind everything. You see what happened here yesterday? You were so shocked. Seeing me calling people names, prophesying to people, you wonder, this man, how is it? There is a spirit behind me. That is what you don't know. So what you need, you need also a spirit to back you up. David said, I will kill this Goliath because of the spirit which was backing David up. So you need a spiritual backup. You need something that can stand for you. When you are fighting, they are also fighting for you. I've got angels. I've got armies. Spiritual army. If you are not believing me, come and try me tonight. Maybe I will lock you there. I will come with you in the church tomorrow and say, you see this witch? Because when you try, there are chariots of fire around me. So you, you won't be successful. Because there are things which are their spirits which are backing me up. But you, what is it that, that is backing you? Nothing. Nothing. So the devil can just come easily destroy your job. The devil can come easily steal your job. Steal things from you. The devil can come easily destroy your ministry because nothing is backing you up. The devil can destroy your career because nothing is backing you up. The devil can destroy your life because nothing is backing you up. But today, there is an experience of a burning bush. There is an experience of fire. You need that fire. He make it his angels, the wind, but his servant, flames of fire. Oh God, make me a flame of fire. Ah, are you getting what I'm saying? God should make you what? A flame of fire. When you become fire, sickness won't stay in your body. No one can play with fire. That's why the last judgment is hell. Hell fire. The last judgment is fire. Satan was created by the stones of fire. And the only way to judge him is to judge him with fire. The only thing which makes the devil uncomfortable is fire. So if you don't carry fire, that is the moment you eat poison, then you die. Because you don't, you don't carry fire. But the moment you carry fire, a snake can bite you like he bite Paul. Paul was beaten by a snake. But he shook, he shook the snake like me. The snake fall on fire. You see, you can be beaten by a snake, but when you carry fire, nothing will happen to you. They can come in your night. I remember 2018, I went to preach to this apostle from Nigeria in his church. I went back home. The moment I got back home, the whole witches, because deliverance power was too much. So the whole witches of that church, witches, they gathered together. They came, they follow me, they monitor me until told. That time I was staying in church. They monitored me and it told. You know, I was in the room like this. I just saw people entered in the room. Some with knives, some with swords. They are looking for me. After doing that deliver. So all the witches of that church, they say, this prophet want to deliver this ministry. We kill him. They come to look for me. I was in the bed watching like this. I see them entering. Now they could not see me. They were just standing around the bed. Where is he? Where's... But me, I could see them. Now you know what happened. Now, was... now they are leader. God opened his eyes. He looked at it. You watch him. You know, we begin to look at each other with their leader. Now he asked me a question. This was 2019. He asked me a question. He said, why we cannot see you? I said, how? I told him, I said, you cannot see me because I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. That was my answer. That's why you see a prophet, you see a pastor, go and do deliverance there. When he went back home, which is killed him. You see a pastor, go and cast the demon there. When he went back home, he divorced. The devil attacks us ministers who are in the deliverance. You must be serious. Because every deliverance we do, the attacks comes back to us. I might not attack spiritual because they know I'm also a man of fire. They can begin to make things hard for you. They begin to make your marriage hard. They begin to make your finances hard. They begin to make it. That is how demons operate. One of my daughter went to do deliverance in a certain village. He could not sleep that night. A snake came. The power of that village wanted to swallow her. She called me. The voice was gone. Because she didn't know. She thought maybe it's about, I know the scripture. You will die prematurely. You don't play with demons. Demons existed before your Bible. Demons, they don't even understand when you're quoting scriptures. When you say it is written, demons say it is also written. Did you say? No, you will be paralyzed. The only language demons understand better is fire. Let me tell you something. The cross is not a sign of Christianity. Hey, I'm saying something. The cross is not a sign of Christianity. The sign of Christianity is fire. 
The cross is only a proof of fire. Today we are going to cry. Baptize me with fire. After today, that woman who said that you will never carry your children is dying today. That power which is said you will never excel, you will never be successful, you will never testify. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you ready to pray tonight? Stand up wherever you are. Are you ready to pray tonight?